when I when I would grow up, I want to be like you, brother. I mean, it's just like, yeah, I'm probably older than you. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm older than dirt, so yeah. I don't know. At the annual conference here, I've got JD. What? Uh, where are you located at? I'm located out in Laredo, Texas, and I'm the current president of NCBFA. Okay. And who? Uh, what company are you with? I have my own company. I'm a sole proprietor, and I'm, I'm doing my own business on my own. So I'm doing great as a small company representing this large organization we handle small mom and pops all the way to the big top three as well so well i will say jd is really sharp i'm hoping that he rubs <laughs> off on me here so it comes off and <laughs> all right so you uh just completed your uh, annual meeting here with the membership meeting i assume right That's right we just did yes okay and uh with that again putting out your vision and what's going on with the association what may be uh, one of the top uh things that i guess is uh a priority for the organization this year right now we're going through a lot of legislative changes one of the biggest efforts that we're going through is taking into consideration 321 de minimis that's hot on the radar in addition to that there's 21st century framework to try and make cbp's trying to get some changes and also they could do some legislative statutory changes so those are two key elements that we're working through as well as trying to get the younger generation to get engagement with our with our group i tell you what there's a lot of bright minds out there a lot of changes that you know as older guys are sitting there kind of stagnant in our we want to sit there and follow through to make sure we outreach to all our members as well well, and with that, it's uh, the next generation. You want to get involved, and especially if you're a licensed broker or a freight forwarder industry uh, employee, you need to get involved with this organization. Look to see what's happening from the different committees, whatever. You don't have to be an elected official on it. Get involved, read. So you can actually put in some input. If, uh, you're very open to saying uh, people's perspective, right? Oh, that's correct. I tell you what, especially starting off with your local association, there's a lot of challenges that are going through, and some people think that it's just their affected area. But all of us have li uh, national broker's license now, and it affects the entire industry. So speak up, speak loud, and I'll tell you what, speak, um, join us as well. So. Okay. Well, it's a fun group to be with. I'm going to tell you, we last night had a great dinner, had several receptions, and uh, it was good to catch up with some new folks, meet some, uh, or old folks, if you will, and then meet some new ones. I got to get that, you know, reverse that is what uh, uh, Willie Wonka would say. Yeah, wait a minute, stop, reverse. Okay. <laughs> All that to say is, uh, J.D., uh, as far as the theme for this year's conference, anything in particular that you're focused on here? You know what, like I said, or like I mentioned earlier, there's just so much going on at the same time. I know that I, I personally get involved with the Southern Border, so they call it, I have a mini called the Junta. AI is really key hot topic as well. And just that we have some members from customs that we can have a one-on-one -on -one with them as well in a group setting. So looking forward to have all the members attend most of or all the participants, all the events, in addition to that, the fun events as well. So.